Sometimes the simplest questions have the most amazing and answers. And if that reward is too great, right. is well, then you'll power up on their own. Literally, you get everything. For the very day, divided by the square root of 1 minus velocity squared. That square root part doesn't have much to do with it. When we go online, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. It's like a really fun cocktail party, only everyone's trying to get your attention at the same time. In a world full of distractions, how do we figure out what to pay attention to? I know I'm not the only one out there who sometimes feels like I mean, we have to wonder, are our brains really ready to deal with all of this? Sherry Turkle says that these little boxes have created a world where we are alone together. People are wired all the time, texting while they're driving or walking while they internet. Did you notice the gorilla earlier? Well, there wasn't one, but you might be one of the 8 million people who watched this video of a famous experiment showing that our attention is selective. While our minds are busy focusing on one specific thing like a bouncing ball, they can miss something as obvious as a person strolling by in a gorilla suit. And we can be completely blind to what we aren't paying attention to. But not so fast. Selective attention can be a very good thing, too. I mean, think about it. When you focus your attention on me right now, that barking dog next door and the traffic outside doesn't go away. You just stop noticing them. Imagine if you couldn't filter out the tsunami of information, assaulting your five senses every minute of every day. You'd lose your mind. Right here between your ears, you possess the world's most powerful information processing device. It's three pounds of brilliantly evolved neurons. Your brain is able to perform small miracles like calculus, playing the violin, or performing surgery on itself. The idea that we only use 10% of our brains is just wrong. We use 100%. It's just that we aren't aware of all that our brains are actually doing, like filtering out all of life's extra information. I asked a couple of friends to help me show you just how good your brain is at doing all that thinking without thinking. In Scientific West truth does not triumph actually, by uh, convincing its raised. opponents and, and making um, them see on the, the playground, light, but rather where because most its of opponents days, eventually you know, die out, and the new generation grows up that's cool. familiar with it. If you were looking at the center of the screen, you probably don't have any idea what you just watched. This is a little brain trick called the cocktail party effect. At a party, you know how you can zoom in on one conversation in the midst of dozens? It turns out you just have to know where to look. Try it again, only this time, keep your eyes on just one of them. In uh, West Philadelphia, actually, uh, I was born and raised, and, and um, on the playground the is where I spent most of my days, you know, chilling out, maxing, and the new relaxing all cool. I'm betting it worked a little better that time. Well, feel free to rewind and try it again. I'll just wait right here. Now, if we could see the activity inside your brain while you pay attention to Hank and Mike, regions of your brain involved in hearing would be responding to both voices. But the parts of your brain that decode language would only be responding to one. Our brains are true wonders of evolution when it comes to focusing on what's important. Our outer ear, this funny shaped thing, is actually shaped in a way that amplifies the frequencies of human speech. It helps our brains pluck out what's important. You know what? Even in this age of information overload, I think our brain has proven itself to be pretty freaking awesome when it comes to choosing what to listen to and what to ignore. I mean, more and more people today are being diagnosed with attention disorders because they have a less than perfect ability to focus on one task for long periods of time. But this is the digital future and focus doesn't necessarily equate to efficiency. I mean, today's average worker changes tasks every three minutes. This is why Howard Rheingold calls attention our new fundamental literacy. Our attention spans have certain limits, but they also have so much potential. What if some of the people we're labeling with attention disorders really just have different strategies for dealing with all this information? They might be paying attention in new ways. Sure, sometimes we can be blinded by our attention, but other times the ability to focus and filter can be our best friend. Here's the thing, our brains are not set in stone. And like the technology that we're adapting to, we will continue to evolve. Our minds still have some tricks in store for us because above all, that's what our brain is best at, adapting. Which is also why you shouldn't feel bad about subscribing and watching all of our videos.
Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.